Welcome to all the viewers this is Dr Bookworm back with a new video and in this video we are going to talk about a very fine masters opportunity in Europe yes i am talking about Erasmus Mundus scholarship program for 2023 which is now open so before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can receive regular updates regarding scholarships fellowships internships and exchange programs abroad so first of all we will be talking about the key perks of uh, Erasmus Mundus scholarship so uh, the intake for Erasmus Mundus master scholarship for 2023 are now open it is a fully funded masters program in europe and uh, there are some of the fine properties associated with this scholarship that are not associated with the rest of the scholarship opportunities in europe so first of all we will be exploring the advantages of uh, joining erasmus mundus program there are basically this year every year there are different numbers of positions offered for this scholarship program this year there are 163 positions which are fully funded masters positions in which you can study in europe for two years masters program by research so there are some uh, very important advantages associated with erasmus mundus scholarship first of all there is no age limit so if you are someone looking for a scholarship opportunity for masters uh, but worried about your age then nothing to worry in erasmus mundus as there is no age limit i personally know a person who is 54 years old and has uh, got the scholarship so there is no nothing to worry about the age limit Secondly there is no bond restriction as you must have been aware about the bond restriction that with some of the scholarships fully funded scholarships you need to sign a contract that you have to uh, get back to your hometown or home country after completion of your degree whereas in Erasmus Mundus there is no such restriction and you can uh, even work in uh, Europe or in the same country where you have been doing your masters program and the third important thing is uh, that you can apply for one year job search visa after the completion of this uh, masters program under the erasmus scholarship also there is no work experience required there are several scholarships like shevening in uk and dard in germany that require 2 years of work experience so for to apply for erasmus you do not need any kind of work experience although if you have work experience that can be counted as a plus but if you are a fresher there is nothing to worry you can still apply for the scholarship program then this is a fully funded scholarship it covers your health insurance airfare your uh, monthly stipend that will be between 1100 to 1400 euros per month so it is a very handsome amount to uh, manage your living uh, your daily expenses and the europe uh, so it may vary university to university and the place to place but uh, overall on average it is between 1100 to 1400 euros that is a very good amount for masters level students then this program is arranged in such a way that you uh, intend to visit different destinations within your masters program like if you have your first semester in germany then your second semester will be in france and third in italy and fourth in sweden so there are different universities and destinations involved during your masters program so with this respect as well you get a chance to explore multiple destinations within europe and this is one of the Uh, key highlights of this Erasmus Mundus program coming towards the required documents first of all you need a motivation letter uh, make sure you pay an ample amount of time to prepare your motivation letter as it plays a key role in the selection criteria then you need two to three recommendation letters the recommendation letters can be taken from your academic referees as well as from your previous employer if you have work experience then you need your attested educational documents uh that should be attested from your relevant departments like if you are from pakistan then you need to get them attested from uh ibcc mofa or hcc and uh, you can follow the attestation procedure of your own country accordingly final semester students can also apply so if you do not have your degree in hand right now but you are intended to complete your uh, bs program by 2023 before the start of your erasmus masters program then you can still apply for the scholarship opportunity you can submit your results of the semesters that you have uh, got so far then you need to provide a residence proof in the form of domicile or you can contact your municipal management to get the residence proof 
uh, then you need to have a passport a valid passport with at least a validity of uh, one year remaining so if you do not have a passport go get it before applying for the scholarship program then you need to have an English proficiency proof in terms of IELTS or TOEFL score uh, the minimum IELTS score is generally 6.5 bands overall so if you are planning to appear for IELTS make sure this should be your target score at least there is no need of GRE so nothing to worry about uh, GRE and then you need finally a CV in the international format preferably in the European format you can create a European format CV using Europass it is a free website which is uh, actually uh, guided by the European Union and you can create your uh, CV in European format from this website so let us now move towards the uh, official website of Erasmus Mundus and see how to apply for different masters programs so here is the official website of uh, uh, European Union where Erasmus Mundus scholarship is offered I will share the link of this website in video description you can access it from there so here you can read the instructions about the Erasmus Mundus joint masters program which is a fully funded master's opportunity scholarship opportunity in Europe so right now there are 163 positions fully funded master's positions available so you can uh, find out here your program of interest and see what are the requirements and application procedure in order to apply for that particular master's program here you can also filter your search by using different keywords if you are searching for a particular subject you can simply write it here like if I write engineering here so I can find the opportunities relevant to uh, engineering right so you can see there are 53 opportunities that are relevant to this keyword so you can perform your search according to your area of interest secondly you can also perform your search according to a particular country university field of study or year of project selection so coming towards the available projects here we have the available projects which are totally 163 in number and here are the destinations that are involved under a particular program so it means that if you are going to do this master's program governance and administration of layer and sports international master then your projected locations would include france portugal lithuania poland and luxembourg so you are going to study in all these destinations during your master's program so that is this is a very good uh, opportunity to plan your masters in multiple locations of europe and grab a very good exposure of studying in europe among different institutions so uh, let us look at one of the available programs that is masters in sustainable drug discovery so if we open this program we will be redirected towards the official website of uh, this uh, program so you can see the projected locations include belgium france poland and netherlands so here we have the program sustainable drug discovery international masters in sustainable drug discovery and this is the university that is uh, the host university for this program Ghent university and the collaborating university where you are going to visit and study for uh, in your different semesters right so it is a two years master's program four universities are involved master's thesis will be done in this and master's degree will be awarded uh, where the partnership of the mentioned universities will also be mentioned on your degree so you can read out the details about the program coming towards the process of application you need to find out how to apply section on the website and simply by clicking here you will be redirected towards the instructions on how to apply for this particular master's programs in which you are interested right so here are the admission requirements academic degree you should uh, hold a bachelor's degree uh, relevant to pharmaceutical sciences chemistry biology uh, environmental uh, chemical and food engineering human and veterinary medicine biomedical sciences etc so these are the available areas uh, in which if you hold a bachelor's degree or bs degree then you can apply for this master's program here are the uh, requirements that your transcript should be in english if it is in another language you need to get your uh, transcripts translated in english language then the students should uh, um, students in their last year of such a study program at the time of application will also be considered for admission so if you do not have degree in your hand you can set, still apply for this master's program and uh, later you can provide your uh, degree to them then english requirements you need to have a english proficiency 
a score of at least B2 level according to CEFER. If you do not know about it, uh, you can simply Google it, Common European Framework of Reference. So B2 level is somewhere uh, between average to above average English uh, expertise. Like if you are average in English speaking, writing and uh, listening and uh, reading skills, then uh, you fall in B2 level. So it is a pretty much uh, easy score uh, requirements for IELTS as well as for TOEFL. Application procedure determine whether you are eligible. Uh, you need to read out the eligibility criteria. If you fall uh, eligible for the program, you can pursue uh, further with your application before you begin make sure you have the required documents so you need to abide by the list of the documents and get all your documents attested as well you need two reference persons to provide the reference letters for you uh, you need to create an uh, uh, account on the online portal oasis that is uh, to apply for this particular master's program in case your file has been evaluated as uh, positive by the selection committee you will be invited for an online interview so it may involve interview sometimes or sometimes it is a direct hiring so here an interview is involved during the online interview you will also give your five minutes lecture so you need to prepare a presentation in order to present your idea within five minutes checklist of the documents these are the documents that are required for this program a passport photo or co a copy of passport a letter of motivation maximum one page so all these requirements may vary according to the program of your interest so you need to visit the official website of that particular program in order to know, know the uh, document requirements a copy of bachelor's of science diploma then you need official university transcript of records plus english translation if it is not in english already certification of proficiency in english minimum b2 level a recommendation letter and a form that can be downloaded from here from two independent referees they can either be your academic referees or your professional referees then here is the timeline of the application process application will open in first september as we have not reached that uh, date so application is right now not open but it will open on 1st september 2022 online application submission deadline is 31st january 2023 so if you uh, can get your degree by this date then you can apply for this program possible invitation for online interview will take place on march 2023 possible online interviews will uh, be taken in march 2023 final selection of applicants will be done and admission letters will be provided by april 2023 so for the self-funded applicants the timeline will be as follows and application form is not yet open because uh, the open opening date is 1st september 2022 so after the opening date you will see a link here uh, to apply you will simply click here make an account on the portal and pro follow the uh, process so this is an easy process you can find out all the details about your program of interest by performing the search on uh, this erasmus mundus website i will share the link of this website in video description and you can access it from there hope you have got all the uh, aspects clear about erasmus mundus masters program if you still have any queries feel free to comment down the video and i will definitely try to answer so make sure you are following our channel uh, for latest scholarship updates thank you so much this is dr bookworm signing off